the polar method. The polar method deals with angles and how AutoCAD is, is going to create them or, or how it uses them. If you look at the chart that I have here on the screen or the graph that I have here on the screen, I have where AutoCAD takes the zero degrees at, and if you rotate around a counterclockwise rotation, you will get all the other angles. So for example, if I wanted to draw a line at 300 and I mean at 135 degrees, I can basically type in and you'll see with my example, I will give it a distance and then I'll give it the angle of 135 degrees. So if you remember how this kind of chart goes, and these are the most common ones that we're going to use is 30, 60, and 45 degree angles. And that's what this chart is. I think now we're ready to take a look at our example. So I'm going to start with the line command. And I'm going to either pick a first point or I can type in a first point. So I'm just going to select a point here. And now I'll start inputting in how AutoCAD is going to read the polar coordinates. So I'm going to type in at, since I still want to go relative to the point that I did before. So from the point that I went before is my at symbol. I want to give it a distance, so I want to go 2. And then I'm going to use the less than symbol on my keyboard. is going to be my angle symbol. And then what direction do I want to go? Well, I want to go in that 0 degrees direction. So 0, enter. The next thing I want to do is I know I want to go down a distance of 1. So I'm going to type in at 1 angle 270 degrees since that will send me directly south. And now I want to go back to the right. So I'm going to type in at and I'll give it 4 units. So at 4 angle 0 enter. And now I have an angled line that's rotated up at a 60 degrees. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in at 5 angle. And if you remember the chart that we did before, 6 degrees, 60 degrees minus 180 is going to give me the angle that, I, that I'm going to need to create this line, which is at 120. So I'm going to type in 120. So at 5 angle 120 will give me that line that's at that angle. I want to go back to the left now, so I'm going to type in at 2 angle 180 degrees. Next I want to go down, so I'm going to type in at 1 angle 270. I want to go back to the left a distance of 1.5, so at 1 point five angle 180 oh, it looks like I missed my at 1.5 so I'm going to type in at 1.5 angle 180 enter and now I'm going to use the close function that will take me back to the original point that I did so just see enter now with the polar method I don't have to put in negative values all I have to do is give it the distance that I want to go and give it the angle.